Okay, so today we're talking about, we're going to continue talking about the laws of human nature. And today we're going to look at law number six, the law of short sightedness. Here is the law. People tend to overreact to present circumstances and ignore what will happen in the future. So, mm, this is an interesting one because we all have this and it is part of our, it's part of our evolution. We, we have this short-sightedness, which means that we only look at what is happening in the present. We look at what is happening now. And we mostly ignore what will happen in the future or what has happened in the past. The reason why we are like this is because the way we evolve, let's say if we were in the forest and it was spring or summer and we had these fresh fruit and vegetables that were growing, we would, when we saw these fresh things in our environment or when we saw animals that we could hunt and kill, we would immediately get the fruit or the vegetables or hunt the animals and kill them, kill them and we would immediately eat these things. We did not plan for the future, of course, maybe because we did not have refrigerators and we knew that the fruit or the vegetables were going to spoil if we didn't eat them now. And we've had this for very large, very, very long um, amounts of time. It's part of us. If we don't look at the present now, we might miss out, we might lose something, some kind of opportunity. So we pay attention to, we pay more attention to what is happening in the moment. We take advantage of these things. We want instant gratification. I want it now. I want to be satisfied now. Maybe it won't be there tomorrow. I might not have this opportunity. There will be no fruit in winter. There will be no animals that I can find. I need to get as much as I can now. Lewis. Oh, 还是类人员的啊不对猴子应该还是猴子的时候吧在森林里面我们一般都会采摘新鲜的水果或者是去就是补一些新鲜的猎物如果我们没有就是及时的去就是及时的把它吃掉或者是快速把它吃掉的话它
I would say very ugly apartments, apartments that nobody really wants to rent. And they will show you these apartments first to make you a little bit disappointed with your, with your chosen budget. Let's say you can only spend a certain amount of money. When they show you these places, you will first become disappointed because these are the kinds of places that you can afford. These are the kinds of places that you can get with the amount of money that you want to spend every month. And after they show you one or two or three terrible places, they will then show you an amazing apartment or several amazing apartments. And when you walk into these apartments, you will think, wow, I would love to live here. This place is beautiful. But then they will tell you that it is above your budget. You will have to spend more money to rent this place. Now, what happens here for a lot of people is that because they have seen these very terrible places and they are comparing, very often they will just accept a place that they know they cannot afford. In, they are short-sighted, meaning they will only consider how they are going to pay for this apartment now. They don't want to think about the future, about how hard they're going to have to work or what they're going to have to do, what they're going to have to sacrifice, the things they're going to have to sell just so they can continue to pay for their apartment every month. Lewis. Uh, uh,比如说要租房子的话,一般来说就是去找,呃,比如说要租房子的话,一般先去找中介,但是那些中介有一个策略就是,呃,他会给你,就是他会先问你的那个预算,如果,呃,呃,然后,然后给你,呃,带你